Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy because sometimes I just am troll because I consider myself a troll. A cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. This is a quick video. Um, before I say what it is, which you already know what it is, I will preface this by saying you will never see anything brand new on my channel makeup wise. I am always so far behind the curve and I'm okay with that because I want to read reviews. I want to see what other people are saying. Um, and I actually always look at the one star reviews first and so i look at the lowest to the highest rating because if it's something that a lot of people are breaking out from or it's heavily scented or they have skin sensitivities i would be that one that would have that issue and so <laughs> you will never see anything brand new on my channel because i want to see what stuff is before i purchase it even though i have been known to impulse buy so as the title states this is about the fancy matchsticks i did purchase um the trio for the shade range, the 300 shade range, because her foundations, even though there is not a perfect match for me, I'm between a 310 and a 330. So this is the 300 range, and it is truffle, caramel, and rum. And I purchased, I did the trio because it was cheaper, because they're $25 a piece, but the trio was like $57. So these would have been 75 and so I was just like, that to me makes no sense at all. I wish that you can customize your colors, but you don't. Um, and I bought, bought, I brought Bourdais Brat to use as a cheek color. My reasoning was, I have an allergic reaction to nickel. So any product that's in a, in a pan that's pressed, a blush, um, eyeshadow, bronzer, when I hit pan, or for bronzers particularly because I'm swirling around, when it wears down on the edges and my brush starts to hit the edges of the inside of the pan, I end up breaking out. It's a reaction to the nickel. If it is a blush, how you're just usually dabbing in the middle and then there is, ends up being like a hole in the middle, I'm putting on blush and then my cheeks will break out. So my reasoning to try these was to not have to buy powder products, unless it was a loose powder, which you know I use for setting powder. Um, because I feel like I waste a lot of product because once I hit pan I have to throw it away whether the center of the pan or the outside edges of the pan I never hit pan on eyeshadow. So that's never an issue um, so that was my thought process in Purchasing these and I have been watching YouTube videos and I looked at reviews people liked them I get what people were saying Let me see here. So these are the three shades, which I sh I'm sure you know, this is caramel which is a non-color on me once I blend it out. And some people were saying that they use it as a concealer. For me, as a concealer, it's just too dry. And I did put it on today and I'm not liking how it's looking. And this is caramel, which is the highlight one, which I always can tell because this, this is a shimmery one. And this is a barely there on me, but it does add a tad bit of highlight, but I'm not really a highlight type of person. So again, I'm like, hmm. Huh. This is Truffle, which is the contour shade. And I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but you know, when you blend these out, they can blend away into nothing if you blend too much. And so it's kind of tricky. It's definitely a learning curve. This is Bordeaux Brett which I purchased as a blush. Um, I use these today for the third time. The first time I got them, I said, let me just put them on and see what I can do with them. Cause some people were saying they're hard to blend. Some people were saying that they're not hard to blend. And so I knew, I knew there was a curve. And so the first time when I got, when I got them, when I used them, um, I think I just used a type of brush that I would use for foundation. And it blended out okay, but then I felt like it was picking up product. And so I said, okay, I'll try again. And so the second time I used it, I actually applied directly onto my skin. Like say this is truffle, which is not. I applied it directly where truffle would go or my bronzer would go in a little bit here. And the same brush that I used, they keep sticking together on my table because you know that they are magnetic um and the same brush that i use for my foundation i gently stippled padded da, 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 da. took me more time than i'm used to for 
powder bronzer because you just fish, 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 and then you're done. But I, I did like how it looked. Um, I really did. I did the same thing for the highlight, which I'm not really a highlight person, and the blush, which came out like, and I'm just like, oh my God. And so <laughs> I use it again today. So this is my second time today. And this time I said, I'm going to do how Priscilla Ono did it. I think that's her last name. Fenty Beauty's global artist person or whatever. <laughs> and other people I've seen use it, professional makeup artists. They put the product on the back of their hand a little bit. And then they, you know, scoop it in a brush and then pat it on. So I tried that today. Everything blended really well. It didn't lift my foundation. And I did the same thing with truffle. You know, I put it on my hand and patted it. But I found I had to keep going back in, put some more on, going back in. And, you know, I did that with the highlighter and then with the blush. And then with the... This one I tried as the concealer because it doesn't show up on me. But it did just kind of make me look a little ashy under here. The only thing with using... <laughs> Putting it on the back of my hand and putting it on, it seemed to be more patchy. Whereas when I would just line it around or put like the dashes, I think it gave me a more even blend with the brush versus taking the brush and then trying to dot it. Because again, I didn't want to completely swipe because I didn't want it to lift my foundation. And so I rather swipe, swipe it on the truffle and then blend that out with the brush, pat it and gently blend. And the same with, um, I did like how the blush came out today, the Bordeaux Brat. I like how that came out with the brush because it gave me more precise placement. And I do think it looks more natural this way. Than, and then maybe I just put too much because I was just like, I don't know. So I am liking these. However, I'm not sure about the trio because I'm not a highlight person. One color doesn't show up on me and then there's just truffle. And I'm looking at it today and my blending was not the best. And, I, and I'm and i sure it's because, excuse me, if you saw that I talked and spit. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know, welcome to crazy. So I think it came out patchy and when I was looking at my mirror afterwards, it, it looked like it wasn't blended. Whereas when I put the product on my face and then blended it, it looked more even. And so I'm not sure. But I'm also not sure about the trio because the only one that I'm really digging is Truffle, which on its own is 25. Even though it's a good deal for the three for 57, if they're not showing up on me and I'm not a highlight person, then what is the point in having three of these? So I'm debating whether or not to actually keep these right now or not, even though I do like them. I'm going to see what the shelf life is, if it's like a year. <laughs> Um, that I may keep them. And those are my thoughts about the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. And so, did you guys hear that? <laughs> I hope not. I just came from dinner with a friend. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Welcome to the crazy. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to share really quick on... My thoughts for the, for those of you who watch my videos on what I think of the matchsticks. And if you have tried them, if you like them, if you don't like them, did you try them different ways? Because there is a learning curve to using these, particularly for people like me who are not used to using cream products. And so it definitely is a learning curve for me. Um, but again, I like putting the product on and then buffing it in versus putting it on the back of my hand because then too I feel like I'm wasting so much and I put it on my hand and then putting on and it's just like why um for the blush what I did though I did put some on the back of my hand first I know I did say that and I put it on and I wanted a little bit more and so I actually used the brush and wiped it across and put it on that way and then I'm like okay this is really nice and again I used the same foundation brush applying all of these that I use for my foundation. And so I'm figuring if it'll move, it'll move with the foundation that's already left in the brush. So anyway, thank you for watching. Bye guys.